Hey, how's it going? Here we are, two days from Christmas. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Hope you all got your shopping done. There's nothing worse than having to try to run to the store on Christmas Eve before they close down and get all the things that you didn't get because you're kind of procrastinating a little bit. Yeah, we've all done it. These days, most of my shopping, I just do online, especially this year. Uh, I just did most of it online. I did go to the store. I got a couple things um, at the store, but for the most part, I just did online. Just simpler. But I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new year, because let's be honest, this year kind of sucked. Just in general, you know, we were all kind of in the same boat. So let's look forward to uh, 2021 being a step in the right direction for getting back to normal. Uh, it's hard to remember what normal is anymore. You know, we've been having to wear masks and, and do the social distancing and everything for so long. And, you know, we haven't been able to really do uh, all the things we would like to do because of it. And let's be honest, I mean, there are things we could go out and do. But I just, I don't have the drive or the initiative to go out and do it. You know, if I have to wear a mask and, you know, there's restrictions and everything. And there's a chance, you know, a lot of that will be tearing on until spring. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll make do, just like we have. Uh, although, the one thing I, I wouldn't mind if they extend till spring is uh, me not having to make a payment on... Uh, the Parents Plus loan from my daughter's college. It's been kind of nice. I've been making payments. Don't get me wrong. I, even though I wasn't... Even though I wasn't required to, and the interest didn't accrue, and even when it starts back up, all the interest that would have accrued during this time is waived. So, I mean, that's nice. But it's been nice... To where I didn't have to, I wasn't required to make that full payment each month. Uh, but right now it looks like we got until the end of, they extended it again until the end of January. But then come February, I'll have to start making that payment again. But it is what it is, right? Anyway, I'm here, and I don't really have a mystery box. Yeah, this ain't really a mystery box um, video. What this is, is part of it is a couple of things that, that I bought. A little funny story here. I'll get to it in a second. The other box, so I do have a box, but it's not, and I guess technically you would say it's kind of a mystery box, because even though there was a manifest of what's in the box, I don't remember. But I bought from a, a liquidator um, that I thought I, I'd try and get one box from them, kind of see, see how it is, and uh, then maybe, you know, starting in the new year, once I get my, like, my EIN, my actual vendor's license, and stuff like that, um, you know, if it's good, then maybe I'll keep an eye on their site and maybe, uh, and get some stuff from them along with Barton's in uh, in Indiana. But uh, this box is from a a company or, or a website called Bulk.com, B-U-L-Q. And they sell um, not only full pallets that require, like, freight shipping, although I want to kind of look on their site and see if, like, if you wanted to buy one of those bigger pallets that require freight shipping, because um, they, Bulk.com, they don't actually ship from, like, their place. They 
almost kind of like a drop ship type of thing. You know, they're kind of a a general website for many different places. I mean, they <laughs> might all be under like the bulk.com purview, but just different spots around the country. And, uh, you know, the stuff they list, it, it tells you like where it's shipping from. Um, but, you know, if there's like there's a place, I think it's Fort Wayne, Indiana, I think is like the closest one I've seen stuff shipping from. And, uh, you know, when they have like a, like bigger pallets, it would be possible because that's within driving distance of, of me here in Ohio to where if I could save on the shipping because the freight shipping is not cheap. I mean, a lot of times you pay just as much in shipping as you do for what you're paying for the pallet. Uh, so if it, if it was possible to just go pick it up, then that's a possibility. Um, I know on our site they, they did say that they they request um, resellers certificates, which I don't have yet. But I think that's mainly, from, from what I understand, if I was wrong, I'm sure they will let me know. But I think that's, because most people that buy from liquidators are resellers. And one of the big purposes of the reseller certificate is to where when you're buying the liquidated merchandise, then you don't have to, you don't pay the sales tax on it. Um, so like if you want to go in and buy a pallet, if you have a reseller certificate and you present that, then they don't charge you sales tax when you buy that pallet. Because you're in turn, when you sell the items from that pallet, are going to be charging sales tax to the end users, to the people buying it from you. Um, if you don't have a reseller certificate, uh, as far as I know, it basically just means that, you know, then you either at the time or after so many days, they'll come back and recharge whatever your form of payment was. They'll charge it the sales tax on that purchase. So, uh, but yeah, I got one. Like I said, they do bigger pallets and they do smaller, like smaller, I guess you'd still call them pallets, but it's like smaller quantities that'll fit in like a box to where it can be shipped. And they do, what's cool is they do like a $30 flat shipping on each box. Uh, so, this box I paid, I believe it was $73 plus the $30 shipping, so $103. In the manifest, I do remember it was right around $400 um, value of MSRP of the items in it. I, I want to say there was 12 items in here. And the great thing is, is they are all Warehouse overstock or shelf pulls, which means everything in here should be brand new, you know, retail ready. Uh, but obviously, you won't know for sure until you get the box. Before I do that, let's start with the what I got on this side over here. There is a website, and I think if you, if you sign up, you can get catalogs mailed to you every once in a while. Um, it's Bud K. I always thought for the longest time I thought it was one word and I had no clue how to pronounce it. it B-U-D-K. I, I was like, Bud K? I, I, I didn't know what it was. But it's actually Bud K. Um, but they sell all kinds of like knives, swords, pellet guns, survival gear, uh, all kinds of cool stuff. Well, they were having a special. And I think these places are starting to get the hint that I'm kind of a sucker when it comes to things like this. Because it's like, I can't pass it up. But they had a deal, and I didn't read the fine print right at first, which I should probably do. But all I seen was purchase, and then you get this free, like, combat knife. I was like, well, that's cool. I wouldn't mind having one of those. I'm sure I can find something one there to buy. So, of course, I went on the side and looked around, and for the longest time, I wanted to get a Shinwa Katana. Very, very good name, very high quality made Katanas. And in particular, I wanted to get one that was 
Damascus steel. And I saw that they had one that I think normally it was like 200 bucks or right around $200. And they had it on sale for like $74.95 or something like that. I was like, oh, I'll get that. And then I'll get the free knife. Nope, as I went to check out, it wouldn't let me, you know, the code that you put in, you know, how a lot of these sites, when they go down, they, you know, have gift codes or a place where you're putting codes um, to get so much off or to get certain things. Well, when I went to try to put in the code for the free knife, would take it. Turns out, you had to make this, the, the fine print I didn't read was, $75 and up. If you purchase $75 and up, you can you use the code get free knife. That's $74.95. Five cents off. So, of course, I looked around and found something else to get along with it. Of course, the, thing, the other thing that I got was, I want to say it was like 20 or 30 bucks, something like that. So, I basically paid like an additional... Twenty to thirty dollars to get a free knife that was probably about that same amount. But yeah. gullible, yeah, maybe a little bit. Am I disappointed in myself? Yeah, not in the slightest. Cause they're freaking cool, man. So let's dive into these three items. Let's start with the free knife. This was the free knife that you got with a $75 or up purchase. It is the Combat Commander Gladius Dagger. The brand is United Cutlery, which is a very good brand. Of course, it comes in a nice sheath. It's got the loop so you can uh, you know, attach it your belt. It's got the single snap enclosure right here on the front, which snaps really well. And that is the knife. Of course, it does look, it's got the, the blade shape, and even the, the hilt and handle of it resembles like a gladius or a Gladiator, if you would, type short sword. Uh, I believe it's carbon steel. It is, I mean, it is sharpened, but it's not like razor sharp. I mean, I don't want to press too hard because you still cut yourself with it. But it's not so sharp as to where, it, like, if you just barely touch it, it's going to nick you. Uh, but yeah, it's got a good weight to it. The blade is a little bit heavier than than the handle, so if you try to balance it on like on one finger, it wants to tip one way or the other. Normally, it wants to tip you know, this way. Uh, I try I'm trying not to let it do it because it, you know, I don't want it to fall and I don't want it to be pristine. But yeah. It feels like it's got a solid, um, solid handle. It does have like a, a little opening, almost like a rivet type hole. If that makes any sense. Going through the handle, so I don't know if that's meant to be maybe a, you know, if you wanted, if you didn't want to use like a sheath, but you wanted to put like a piece of paracord or something through it to make like a, just a strap. I don't know. That's it. That is the, the free knife that I got from Bud K. Alright. So put that back in the box for now find some place to put that down here. all right next up is 
the additional item that I bought so that I would be over the $75. This again is United Cutlery. This is a Black Ronin Gothic throwing axe. There's the box. Here's the back of the box. And of course they also show uh, the Black Ronin throwing stars that you can get. This thing is really cool. Of course, here's a little, little like pamphlet of United Cutlery. Show some of the other items. This too comes in a nice little sheath that's got a loop on it, so you can you know put your belt through it or put it on your belt. I guess would be a better way of saying that. It's got Velcro on the top the enclosure the, the sheath and this thing is again I believe it's carbon steel and it's freaking these prongs are incredibly sharp so that is what they refer to as as an axe I mean it's got kind of the axe shape I guess on the top but yeah it's definitely yeah those things I mean look those prongs are razor sharp and then of course the bottom has got the little protector thing on it but it's also got a sharpened end on that side so I mean this is I almost wish I had like somewhere I could just like throw it to see how well it, it throws and how well it would like stick. But that's pretty cool. I like that. I love how it looks. The design of it is really cool. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna put it back in the plastic. Eventually, going to find some place to, you know, put it up where it's readily available if I need it. You know, in this crazy world, you never know. You never know. Let me get rid of that plastic. All right. So those are the two smaller items. Now, let's move on to the bigger. The Shinwa Katana. It's kind of nice. They've got a little, uh, like, manual that comes with it. Talks about handling your sword, un unsheathing, sheathing it. The anatomy of the sword tells you all the different, like, the parts of the sword, what they're called. Uh, recommended maintenance kit. Assembly and disassembly. I don't know why you'd want to disassemble the sword. But, and then on the back, it's got a whole list of sword terminology. So it's almost like a little encyclopedia right there. Shinwa is a very no, well-known brand, very high-quality brand. Uh, their swords are handmade. It comes in a nice, uh, like, cloth, uh, protective covering. Get it out of here. This, I'll probably keep this, this like, covering that it came in, I'll probably just fold up and, and put somewhere to, to have. But the actual sword and the scabbard... I'll probably uh, actually mount on the wall somewhere separately. I'll put like the scabbard and then I'll put the sword above it. It's got a really nice uh, hard black scabbard. It's got the nice little, I want to almost say it's almost like paracord wrapping around it, gold accent. Of course, the handle of the sword is very very intricately wrapped 
with the, the traditional diamond design. Um, it's got these gold accents. It's got one here on that side, down towards the bottom. Same thing up here, farther closer to the, uh, the pommel and hilt. And then it's got a very small gold accent here at the very butt end of the handle. It's got really nice detail. I mean, I don't know whether you can you can kind of see the the relief the dragon right there. And then the sword, oops, the sword itself. Whether you'll be able to see the yeah, I guess you can. The Damascus steel blade. It's got that unique like coloring, and it's got like the the lines. Like, you can't really see the lines. I don't think in it. But from what I understand, like all the different all the different little lines in it, and you can feel like actually on this blade, you can feel like the oil that they put on it. To not only give it kind of that shine, but it also has as a protective like barrier um, but I mean these are handmade they're they're made by essentially blacksmiths and sword masters um, that take the the Damascus steel and they fold it and pound it and that's why you get the intricate like almost layers in it and this is a full tang battle ready sword it is incredibly sharp um, yeah it's nice i've always wanted one of these and i'm very very happy with it so there we go back in the scabbard and I'll put it back in the put back in this carry all type bag here and then we'll put it back in the box for now that'll probably be a weekend project this weekend it's finding a good place where I can put that up All right, so let me move this out of the way real quick. Set it down here for a moment. Get these out of the way too. All right. Now, this box, I'm gonna to try to kind of move over a little bit more. I'll try to get this, this box. I believe this box weighs like 38 pounds or something like that. But as you can see, it's a pretty big box. So I'm actually going to stand up. Do this. Looks like you can still see me good enough. Of course, I still... Well, I got knives, but I really don't want to use... You know, what the hell? What the hell? We got this, this dagger. Let's use it. This is a, a practical test here. Remember what was in, you know, the other great thing about bulk.com is they actually, um, as much as I love mystery boxes, and that's one thing I like, like, like with Bartons, 
But I'm kind of looking forward to buying pallets from them is because theirs are unmanifested. They don't go through the pallets. And you don't have any idea what's in the pallets there other than what you can just see from looking at it. Bulk, they actually manifest their pallets in their boxes. So when you're on the website looking, you can scroll down to, they got like a, a clickable like link type bar. It says what's inside. And it'll bring up and basically tell you everything. And like a lot of times if you get a box, it might have, you know, 50 items in it. But 10 of those items might be the same thing. So it'll tell you the item and the quantity. Um, so you can, you know, kind of look. And it also tells you the condition right up front. It'll tell you whether they are new, like brand new, as in like warehouse overstock and shelf poles, or like new open boxes, or uninspected returns. Um, so you can kind of, you know, they also have like even box and stuff that that you know right up front that it, it just has like non-working stuff in it usually those are you know obviously fairly cheap um but depend on what it is i mean i've seen i've seen a couple pallets on there that consisted of like tvs non-working tvs and they still had a fairly decent bid on them because i would guess there are some, probably some people that are handy or technical minded and know how to work on TVs, and they can buy a pallet of that, and even if they spend a couple thousand dollars, if they get a pallet that's got, you know, 30, you know, LED TVs on it, or something like that, they can go back, and with just a, you know, a little bit of time, and a little bit of money to, to get whatever they need, refurbish those TVs, and probably make a killer profit on them. All right. So let's let's just pull something out here and let's see what we got. All right, this looks like it might be a a shirt, maybe. Like a, yep. so it's just uh it's like this is looks like it's a maybe like a uh, like a tourist type t-shirt you would buy a Missouri tradition Snell family farms established 1927. Again, it's a brand new, brand new shirt. The brand name is Instant Message, size large. So it looks like that's a woman, women's shirt, the cut on it. So, yeah, I would guess that's probably, a, yeah, I'll probably list it for like, Ten or twelve dollars plus shipping. Uh, I don't know how well that will sell. It's kind of a a selective type thing there. But you know, somebody that maybe is from Missouri or knows has been to that place, they might be interested in getting that shirt. All right, let's just sit. Let's set it down here. All right. Next, we've got not sure what this is. These look like
I don't want to pull them out of the bag because, again, they're, they're brand new. I think these are like sweats, maybe. Logan and Martin Sport, New York City. Dark charcoal is the color. It does have a uh, does have a barcode here on the tag, so I'll be able to hopefully maybe through the plastic scan it. Although actually, I might I'll probably be able to because I don't think they like originally came in this bag. I think this is essentially like poly bagged. Uh, it might even be poly bagged by bulk.com um, because it is just like a, a plastic bag that's got the little like adhesive strip on it. So I'll probably, I probably will open those up so I can get a little bit better look at them. But it looks like uh, there was two pairs in here. Uh, yeah, sweats. Looks like they got a pocket on them. These are black. Not sure about the size. And I'm not real sure right offhand if they're meant to be male or female. Uh, it looks like the size is medium. But yeah. You know, I'll scan the barcodes and I have to see kind of what those are going for. Um, depending on what they're going for, I might, I might sell them. I'm going to try to put them back in there. I might sell them uh, separately. I might sell them you know, together. Hey, here's, it looks like another. Again, I want to take them out of these bags. I'll probably keep these bags, though, because those will be... Good bags to hold on to if I need to, like, ship something. Here we have two more pairs of those, same thing. This one is actually like a dark blue. Size medium, once again. And another pair of black ones. Most likely size medium. And the good thing is since these are all yeah, since these are all the same, I can just scan the barcode on one of them and for the most part they should be about the same price. Although it is weird sometimes how like especially especially like on Amazon once in a while if you look for something you can find where one one color costs more than another color. The exact same thing. Kind of weird. And here we have. Oh, all of it. okay. I think these are again same things. Yep. Another pair of these mediums too. Uh, actually, this looks like it might be a small. Yeah. These are small. Again, they're, they're kind of like heather, what do they call it? I don't know, charcoal. They have charcoal. So, that's actually a different size. So, that might actually... I can understand how a different size might be like a different price. And then in with that one was this one. This one's actually not poly bagged um, inside a separate bag in there, but it it does have still has the tags on it. And black size small. So and really soft. So obviously that pair will actually keep in this this bag. But 
<clears throat> I don't know. It's been a long time since I've uh, like bought sweat, so I don't really know how much they might be going for. It looks like there's maybe one more set. Although these actually might be something different. Let's pull these out. These aren't in separate bags. No, yep, these are these are sweats too. Although I think they they might be a different brand. These are size large. The brand name is Galaxy by Harp Harvel. H R V I L. It looks like these are, are new, but they don't have the tag on them. And so that obviously affect, affect the price a little bit. They'll be a little bit lower. So there's a, those were, that's a dark blue pair. And then here we've got it's like the same thing, only in gray. take those out. That's another good thing about these bags is then I can, if I decide to sell them separately, I can split them up into two different bags. Alright, we've got a few more items in here. Alright, here, I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it's got a few things in it. They're all, it looks like they're Separately, okay. These are these are sweats too. They might actually be no, well, but these got a different. Yeah, you know, these are a different brand. The brand on this is Wicked Stitch. Size small, black. Here it says a retail price. $36.50. So, I mean, that's, I, I would probably list them at like $30 plus shipping. Shipping, probably be about $4.99. So, I mean, roughly, actually, I might, I might even, might even go a little bit less. Maybe I'll go like $28 plus shipping. That way, even with shipping, you know, somebody's buying them, they're getting them for a couple dollars less than what they would if they went and bought them at the store. But there's a, a black pair. There's a navy blue, same, same size, small. Pulling those out of that bag. There is. Same. I don't see the tag on, on this one. They might be folded up on the inside. But again, like I did, since they're in like these little poly bags, I'll probably. I take them out of the poly bag and then uh, you know plus that way that you know, I can be easier to to get a good photograph of them when I get to list them. So there's a gray pair, dark gray I should say, and here is a. light gray ones. They're kind of nice. They got like a zipper on at least that side. Maybe they have uh, zippered pockets on both sides. So, you know, I'll have, to, I'll have to look and kind of bring up, see, because I mean, you know, sweats, it, it's hard to tell 
they actually don't say on here whether they're meant to be you know, male or female. So I have to look it up. All right, let's see. We've got a few more items in here. All right, here we have some standard queen pillowcases. Comes with two pillowcases. The brand is Satin Perfection. So obviously they're satin pillowcases. Or maybe that's just the brand name. So the 100% polyester. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know enough about fabrics and whether you know, is that is that what satin's actually made out of is polyester. I don't, I don't know. But units yeah, have got a barcode. Don't actually have a price on on it. But yeah, these are again they're. Brand new. So I'm rough guess I would I'm guessing probably twenty, twenty five dollars for this. Maybe more. Depending on you know that that brand name if it's if it's a higher price brand name. And here is a set for Ting. The same brand, Satin Perfection. These are kind of like a Look at that red. Almost got kind of a metallic look to it. Those are actually pretty cool. Hmm. We got two sets of those. Let's see. Whoa. Alright, I'm gonna kind of hold the box in place here because this is this is the heavy thing that was kind of holding it on the stool. This is the Heartland brand. This is for a full. It's a full size sheet set. Made exclusively with homegrown cotton. Proudly grown in the USA. 100% pure cotton. Cool and crisp. Fits mattress up to 17 inches deep. It's got a full 10 year warranty. Manufacturer's warranty on it. That's a pretty good warranty. Ten years. And a warranty would be... I mean, it would be... Uh, in effect, because they are... You know, they're still brand new. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't have price on the outside of it, but... Yeah, I'm gonna put that back in there so it'll hold that. Maybe. There we go. Alright. Got a few more items in here. Whatever these are, these might be different ones. Looks like there's like three bags of whatever these are. But since they're in three different bags, they might be slightly different. Let's see what it is. Oh, this stuff actually might sell sell pretty good. Brand name is a Mori A M O R E. It's aged at least in this in this bag. Age defying retinal moisturizer moisturizer for all skin types. 2.5% active retinol with high hyaluric vitamin E vitamin B5 to Java oil and green tea. 50 milliliters. So, and let me, real quick, we'll do, make sure these are all, I would assume they're all four exactly the same. Yes, they are. So, the four in that bag, that's the age-defying retinal moisturizer. There is the box. It's a little bit of a glare on it, but. 
I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm going to have to get... I don't have my phone up. Oh, I do have my phone here right now. So let's sort of scan one of these real quick. Well, actually, let's... Let's look at the last two things in here. Last two bags. See if they're the same thing. Yep. Okay, these are the same, exact same. So there's four more of those. And I would assume that these are the same thing too. Yep. So we got... 12 of them. And again, I, I mean, you they think they, they kind of said what the uh, MSRP of all the items is. But it never hurts to double check because, you know, some of the things will sell for different prices in different places. So, let's, uh, let's just use the Amazon scan. Got the barcode on here. Alright. Yeah. So each one of these little things sells on Amazon new for $17.89. We got 12 of them. So that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Again, this would be something I would probably sell for probably fifteen, fifteen dollars. And since I got so many of them, I'll probably, I'll probably start by listing one of them on like Macari, and then maybe list one of them on OfferUp, and then you know as they sell, I can relist them. Now, once I get, again, probably years from now, but once I get to where I can either buy, preferably buy, oh, shipped it to my store, or lease an actual brick and mortar location, then, you know, something like that, I could just basically stock the shelves with all of them. And, you know, enter the, enter, use the barcode to enter whatever my price is going to be, inventory, and here we go. All right, so those were 17.89 piece. Let's check this this big thing here, this sheet set. Uh, I think it's gonna go. No. All right, I'll have to look look that one up someplace else maybe if Amazon didn't bring it up so let's try these yep not bringing those up either sweats don't really need to because they have the price list right on there 30 some dollars Overall, not not a bad bad box. I mean, when you look at what I paid for it, um, you know, all of these things, all of these things right here, because they were seventeen, almost eighteen dollars a piece. What I said it was seventeen eighty nine. So. If there was 10 of them, you're looking at $180. So you're looking at $200, basically, worth of this. This age-defined retinal moisturizer. Okay, so that, that basically right there doubles what I paid for the box. So everything else... Is just like icing on the cake, if you will. And this is a good time of year, actually, probably for sweats like that. Because even though I think these are more like workout type sweats, they're still 
you know, a lot of people in wintertime, they like wearing sweat because they're warm. So, have to get them. So, and the good thing is with a lot of them you know, being different colors and stuff like that, I can, uh, I can do multiple listings at the same time. So, if you like any, uh, any of this stuff and you want to check it out, uh, probably give it till, the, till this weekend. You know, over the weekend, I uh, will get some of this stuff listed on uh, the Macari app. Um, so, go on and look for either the heart, although this, the Harley and the sheet set. Um, I can tell you right now the shipping on this would be the shipping on this will be about ten bucks because of the weight. Um, so I'll have to look and see. Depending on how much these are, I might actually pay for the shipping. So, but all the rest of the stuff, shipping should be fairly reasonable, like four ninety nine somewhere in there. Um, but yeah. So, again, brand name. So, Wicked Stitch. If you look for Wicked Stitch. And I will actually list this stuff with the brand name in the title. So, if you go on Macari, again, since they don't have it set up to where you can actually look for me and my username, J-R-Y-M-M-A-N, um, you have to look for an item that's listed by me. So, We'll have Wicked Stitch, Sweat, um, Heartland Sheets, the uh, Amore Age Defying Retinal Moisturizer, Satin Perfection, Pillowcases, and Logan and Martin Sport New York City Sweat. And then, I think that was all of them, except for the one, the one t-shirt, which I'll list it by the Snell, I'll have Snell on the title. So, if you're interested in any of this stuff, uh, go on Macari, like I said, probably this weekend, uh, you know, after Christmas, and uh, look for the item. And then when they come up, I mean, I don't know what they might, you know, well, really, if you're really lucky, mine will be the only one that's listed on there that way. Um, but if there are multiples, go through and look. If you scroll down on the items, down towards the bottom, they'll have a meet the seller kind of like link or like a dialogue box. Um, if it has my username, J-R-Y-M-M-A-N, that's me. And then do yourself a favor. You can click on that and then click follow. You'll be able to see all my listings on Macari. Um, for anybody local, um, like I said, I probably will list, I might list a couple of these on the OfferUp app. So if you're on OfferUp and you're friends on Facebook, um, you'll probably be able to see that when it comes up. So, or any of you know that, that know me personally, know how to get in contact with me outside of the internet, if you're interested in something like this, give me a heads up, you know, shoot me a message, whatever. Um, obviously, if you're local, you know, people I work with or whatever, if there's something you're interested in, um, I won't ship it to you. We can just, you know, I mean, just bring it to you in person or you can come pick it up in person um, but that's it everybody have a wonderful wonderful evening um, enjoy your holiday I, I don't imagine I don't think I have anything else coming I actually I take that back take that back I ordered two older boxes off Amazon uh, and I believe they're supposed to come tomorrow, so Christmas Eve, um, 
although I won't have time actually, yeah, scratch that. I won't have time to actually do videos for them tomorrow because I'm going to have people here for, for uh, you know, to celebrate Christmas. We do it on Christmas Eve. Um, so, yeah. So, what I was saying is everybody have a wonderful holiday. Enjoy your Christmas. Stay safe. Um, you know, spend some time with your loved ones. Enjoy the holiday. And let's hope and pray that, you know, come the new year, things get back to normal and we can all enjoy all of the holidays through the year a little bit easier uh, in 2021. But wish you all the best. And uh, stay tuned because, like I said, I won't do it tomorrow. But over the weekend, I will be doing, I'll probably maybe do them together. Since I ordered them together, I'll probably do just one video, open them in two boxes. But one is an older Marvel Collector Core boxes. The other one is a Disney. Um, I think it's a Disney Funko box. Uh, so, over the weekend, keep an eye out for those. And by all means, give me a favor, big favor. If you like just your average schmo, if you like my videos, enjoy them in even the slightest bit give me a thumbs up give me a like and then you know, if you want to keep up tabs on all the videos I post subscribe hit the little notification bell so you'll you'll know right away whenever I put a new video up. other than that hey that's all I got take it easy see ya